my name is Andrew Bowie and I'm a consultant orthopaedic spinal surgeon at Newcastle Hospitals in the UK. Um, we specialise in uh, everything uh, at Newcastle Hospitals. We're very fortunate um, to have all specialties on site. Particularly my work works at, looks at complex spinal deformity, so that's scoliosis and kyphosis, so that's curvature of the spine. But also within my department we look at um, primary tumours around the spine as well, uh, which is um, the more complex work that we focus on in Newcastle. A case that I worked with um, Axial 3D on uh, was one of our complex scoliosis patients. So this patient had what we call as a hemivertebra, which is an extra half a vertebra. Uh, which causes a complex change in the patient's spinal shape, which means we have to do an operation to, to straighten the spine. And part of that and the use of modelling is to visualise that abnormal piece of bone to help us try and essentially remove it and cut it out, uh, which uh, is, is a complex to do. And if just working off a 2D scan, um, it's quite hard to get our landmarks to, to plan for that surgery. So 3D models, I think, are becoming a standard of care now for this complex work. Previously, when we tried to do it on the 2D scans from a rendered CT scan, um, it was obviously helpful uh, because the more knowledge we have of the shape of the spine, the more we're able to plan and understand what's going on. But ultimately, surgeons are, you know, we work in the 3D space um, and most of us, our minds work in that 3D space as well. So to be able to hold a model to move it around uh, and because it's one-to-one -one sizing again we get an appreciation of you know the depth of what we're having to do so um, it's, it's massively um, helpful over the basic 2D then where we previously worked with. So the benefits um, to the patient essentially are that the patient understands more about what's going on uh, which is the first clear thing. Um, if a patient understands what the operation involves, particularly in my practice when it's children, uh, the whole family uh, understand what's going on. Uh, they uh, potentially understand the magnitude and gravity of what's going on and therefore they understand the risk better uh, and also potentially understand why the post-op recovery is, is as long as it might be. Um, furthermore, uh, the operation should be quicker because we've got better planning, in which case will be less risk of a patient needing a blood transfusion. Um, so reduction in blood loss is really important to patients. Um, and, and I think finally the, one of them is um, a reduction in infection, uh, which we see um, is, is a, a potential uh, massive benefit to uh, the patient. So I think the benefit to me um, in 3D modelling is uh, firstly I am more prepared for a case before I start it. So if I understand the anatomy better then it means I can plan the operation uh, in more detail uh, and therefore hopefully uh, and as we've shown have a better outcome. Uh, furthermore um, the more that we can do uh, before the operation means that the operation will be quicker itself because there's no surprises when you get in there you know uh, exactly what you're going to find and therefore the operation uh, goes quicker. Um, I think benefits not just to myself as this operating surgeon but to the whole of the team in theatre as well is that we take these models into theatre so all of the teams see that and in, particularly in very complex uh, cases and if the rest of the team, the scrub nurses, the anaesthetic team all understand what you're trying to achieve um, sometimes it helps them understand what's going on and why this case is potentially um, a bit more tricky and therefore everyone ups their game a bit uh, because it's not just a routine run-of-the-mill case. So there's an education there, um, I think, uh, which is a benefit to everybody. The words I'd use to describe Axial 3D are reliable. Um, we've never had any issue with our prints um, arriving uh, to the place we need them. Uh, when we need them. Uh, efficient, they turn around the, the prints very quickly for us. Uh, we can print on site in Newcastle for the smaller models, but often with the big, more complex models, they're printed off site in Belfast and then shipped across to us. 
um, and this is done in a uh, again a, an efficient time uh, saving manner and also we have the ability due to their innovation as well um, that they show us the 3D render in the 2D space so we can really see what we're going to get in advance um, and then we get that sent to us um, and, and that's really sort of changed our ability to uh, understand uh, what we do.